we are back for the final video in this reassembly or the screen replacement of this S6 Edge. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw out a disclaimer here. Make sure you put the rubber grommets back in, uh, the one at the bottom and the top that we took out before we removed the screen. I forget to do it in this reassembly, but I go back and do it in the end. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is put the vibration motor back in. It should still have adhesive on it, so it should sit right back in place just fine. If it does not, you can go ahead and just put a little stick of 3M or that VHB tape we were using earlier. Now we can go ahead and put in our charge port. I'm really stoked about this phone having a replaceable charge port. This makes repairs a lot easier on it, um, more so than just the regular S6. I'm just going to go ahead and put it down. It does have a couple screws that hold it in place, so if whatever adhesive is down there isn't um, really holding it, don't stress it too much. I'm going to go ahead and put our first screw in just to the left of the headphone jack. Just double check the home button, make sure that it's functioning properly. I did leave one screw out of this video. It goes to the left portion of the charge port. We'll see it in the next uh, clip here. I had a camera malfunction and I had to edit it a little bit. And you can see it's uh, right above and to the left of the charge port there. We go ahead and put our battery back in. You should also still have enough adhesive. If you did bend it when you're trying to remove it, make sure it's nice and flat when you go ahead and put it back in. Put our earpiece speaker in. Just push it in the sensor area. And then we have this little clip portion here with tape. I'm going to push into place. With that, then we can go ahead and put our logic board back in. Let's go ahead and fold it forward and clip the charge port cable onto the back of it. Go ahead and pull all the cables out from underneath it. Want to make sure that the home button, the two wire connectors, the battery, the earpiece speaker, the display cable are all out from underneath the board. You can go ahead and start clipping them down onto the respective connectors onto the board. It doesn't take a lot of force to snap these down. Now this one is a little bit tricky for the earpiece speaker. You want to go ahead and fold the cable and put the top portion in and then clip it down right above the camera. You'll see that the right side of it will go just underneath a little slot. We can move on to the display cable, our home button cable, and these little wire connectors, they can be fairly tricky. They snap on like a pair of jeans, like a button, but you want to line them up right where they need to be, and they're so tiny that it's going to be a little bit difficult to do so. Sometimes it's easier to do it with a tool than just your bare hands. So we're going to use our hand to line it up, and then our nylon spudger here to kind of try to clip it down. Now I'm not using excessive force here, I'm just putting a nice firm pressure on it. I don't want to bend it or break it. Now with that done, you can go ahead and put the cables into their guide slot. You can see this one runs just right around the battery. And the blue one, it's a little bit further away. Just make sure you press it in its correct slot. That way when you put the back housing on, they don't get it in the way. Put our front facing camera in. Now we can take our rear housing. Start with the bottom first. Push it onto the headphone jack and the charge port and then pull up and snap in the top portion. That's the easiest way to put this back frame on. Go ahead and snap it down the sides of the device. Get it nice and snug. Go ahead and power the device on and make sure the display works. Now at this point I'd go ahead and test everything. If you need to, you can go ahead and put all the screws back in the back and then test it. 
you want to do all of this and make sure it functions properly before you put your uh, glass panel back on as it'll be uh, kind of a tricky pain to get back off just like the first time. So it's worth the time here to make sure that everything's functioning. You can see the touch screen's functioning properly for us. Go ahead and power it off. So with that done, we can go ahead and put all of our screws back in. I'm not putting these in extremely tight, just nice and snug. We don't want to damage the screws themselves, we want to strip them out. We want to make sure that they're nice and tight into uh, where they're screwing into. So I'm just putting uh, pressure down onto the frame and the glass to make sure that it's pushed down. Then screwing the screw in and then letting go, and that usually holds it nice and tight. Go ahead and just work away around and put all of these in. Now with all those screws put back in, the next step that we need to do is go ahead and lay down the adhesive strips for the back piece of glass. Now we're going to use the exact same tape that we used to put the uh, display on. We're just going to tape around the inside portion. I went ahead and cleaned off all of the residual tape off the back of the phone and the back of the glass. You want to make sure that it's nice and clean so when you lay down the new tape uh, you don't have any... Uh, problems with the back trying to pop off or gapping or, or anything like that. So we'll take a nice strip and just lay it down the side here. We'll use two different sizes. We'll use the 3 millimeter and the 5 millimeter tape for this. If you want it as close to the edge as possible without it riding up the side of the housing. Use a little bit thicker tape. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to shape the corner here. We want it to be um, nice and tight and as close to being perfect as possible in this corner. Uh, this is where they always want to pop back up. It's either right here or right in the middle on the sides. So the best way to do this is to cut it short. And then you can go ahead and shape the opposite side and then put that on and just cut it so it fits in the middle. Go ahead and put this on the left side. We'll cut it to match here. And my tape backing came off of it. It's still there. It's just a little hard to see. It's nice and clear. We'll go ahead and put a strip right across the top up here. And we're not going to lay it on top of the battery. Or anywhere I didn't really have tape before. All right, now we'll go ahead and work our way down the side of the phone. You do want to put it down uh, kind of these side areas here like I'm doing. Uh, that way when you're holding the back of the phone and you're, you're grasping it tightly, it doesn't want to bend in. You can't see it kind of depress itself. Let's give it a little bit more stability.
Go ahead and put it across the top now. We'll go ahead and use the same method of shaping the corners. Try to fill in any little gaps here that we might have left. So it looks like it's a pretty decent amount of adhesive here. We're just going to go ahead and make sure it's all held down. A nice way to make sure that it's not running at the side of the frame is to use uh, whatever tool you're going to use to pull it back. And just make sure that it's nice and straight all the way down. Go ahead and remove all the backing off of all of the tape here. Now that all the backings are removed, we're going to take our nice, cleaned back piece here. Uh, not this side, you can see there's got a lot of fingerprints on it, but the other side. And we'll go ahead and adhere it back down. Just work our way around the sides of the phone. And there we have our reassembled S6 Edge. So it looks pretty good. Go ahead and just... Power it on and make sure it's still functional for us. Just checking out the sides. You can see that there's no gapping or anything there. Looks like a pretty solid original device. Pretty happy with the way that it came together. If you found the video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. If you want to see future videos, go ahead and subscribe to me. I do appreciate you watching and I hope that uh, you found it useful or you learned something about fixing phones. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them for you. And I do appreciate you watching.